Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to explain part 123 of Java for Tester series. That is index of method of string buffer class. So index of method. Index of method is one of the predefined methods of string buffer class in Java. Also, we have the similar method that is index of method is also there in the string class. Okay. Even index of method is also a method of is a predefined method of string class in Java. How to use this index of method of string class? We already covered as part of one of the previous videos. Okay. As part of one of the previous videos, I already covered how to use this index of predefined method of string class. The current video session, I'm going to explain how to use index of predefined method of string buffer class. So what is the purpose guys? What is the purpose of using this index of predefined method of string buffer class? The purpose of this method, okay? The purpose of this method is to check whether the provided text is there in the paragraph or not, okay? In real time, let's say there is some string literal text guys, okay? The purpose of this index of method is to check whether the given text is there in the string literal text or not okay this is the purpose case simple okay let's say there is a string literal text case that is around motory let's say or we'll take another example like, like qfox.com the software testing tutorials the easiest tutorials like this if i have some text okay let's say this is a string literal text we have and i have to check have to check whether in this particular string literal text there is some text or not for example i want to check whether in this particular string literal text qfox.com the software testing tutorials the easiest tutorials i want to check whether there is a text known as the or not okay if i search further how to find it out whether this the text is there in the string literal text or not for that guys we can use index of method okay we can use index of like this guys index of okay the like this we can use index of the this will check whether index of method will check whether this particular text da is there in this uh, string literal text or not that is it will start from the left side guys searching from the left side and uh, once it finds it it will stop okay so it will give you the index guys what is the index value of this da if it finds this da guys it will return you the index okay so here 0 1 2 3 4 5 da, uh, dot is 5 1 2 3 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 12 is the index value of this da so it will print da guys that is it will print the index value to 12 okay it will return you the index value 12 guys later you can print it fine but here guys if you observe if you clearly observe there is no single da here there are multiple das first da and second da but we are searching for the da which one will be which index will be returned or uh, this first one or this uh, second one the first one index of the first uh, occurrence will be Return guys, that is 12. Okay, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 will be returned, guys. The index value of the first occurrence of this particular word will be returned. What if I search for something that is not there? Let's say if I search for Arun, okay, if I search for this Arun text in, in this string literal text using this index of like this index of okay, Arun. If I search in this particular in this particular string literal text, if I search for this Arun text using this index of method what will happen so it will search from left side guys qfox.com software testing tutorials the easiest there is there is no word like this arun okay there is no text like arun in this string literal text guys since it since it didn't find anything in this string literal text the result will be minus one the result will be minus one okay it will return the index since there is no index it cannot re return the index right because arun text is not there in the string literal text so there is no possibility of returning any index like 12 or something. So in that case, it will return you minus one guys. So using this technology, we can understand that if you are searching for something, if the word is there in this string literal text, it will give you some index value. Otherwise it will give you minus one. Okay. If the given word is not there in the string literal text, it will give you minus one. If other than minus one, if you get any index value, that means it is available at some point, at some point in the string literal text. Okay. And also guys, 
there's one more overloaded method of this index of okay that is like this index of okay arun uh, the let's say the comma you have to give the index value let's say if i give the index value 15 guys okay it will start searching from the 15th index guys okay in this string literal text from the 15th index value onwards it will start searching for this da that means so da will be searched but before that we have to read the index 15 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 after index 15 it will check okay from here onwards it will check whether there is any da okay it will stop here guys okay the index value of the second da will be returned some xyz value index value of the second da will be returned guys okay here starting point for searching the this particular word in the string literal text is index 15 of from index 15 onwards the search will start for this word okay if the if this particular word is available after the index 15 that index value will be returned otherwise again minus one will be returned okay like this guys so let me practically demonstrate guys how to use this index of uh, method of string buffer class in java let me practically demonstrate string buffer let's create a variable guys a and declare that with string buffer class and let's create an object for the string buffer class like this and assign with the string literal text like qfox.com the software testing tutorial tutorials the easiest tutorials okay like this now if i say System dot out dot print ln a dot index of okay i'll i'll take the normal method guys that is a dot index of i want to search for the da okay it index of method will search whether this da word is there in this string literal text that is stored into the variable a okay in this variable a we have this string literal text guys in this string literal text that is stored into the variable a we will search for this da from the left side guys okay 0 1 2 3 4 5 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. When the 12 comes, it has found the da guys. So it will return you the, this index of method will return you the index value 12. And this println statement will print it. Okay, let's run this and see whether we are getting the results or not. Right click run as the application. You see 12 got printed. What if I say system.out.println a dot, I will search for some text that is not available in the string literal text. Okay. I'll search for some text that is not there in the string literal text that is Arun. Okay. If I search for Arun, what will happen? Index of method will search for this Arun text in this string literal text that is stored into the variable A, that is this text. Okay. So it starts from the left side. As there is no Arun here, it will simply return minus one. Okay. If the given text is not there, it will return minus one, guys. Okay. Let's run this and see whether we got that. Right click run as Java application, you see minus one. And what if I can use some overloaded method guys, okay? Index of uh, has some overloaded method, a dot index of, when I say index of, you see, two overloaded methods are there here with the same name. Two string methods with the same name, index of, index of, but different parameters, right? These are known as overloaded methods guys. Methods having the same name, but different parameters are known as uh, overloaded methods. I will explain about the overloading concept in the upcoming videos anyhow. For now understand that there are two versions of this index of method. First version is this one and second version is, this second version is this one. I will select the second version. Okay. I have to give the string first. That is the, and I have to search for this, uh, the text only after the index 15 guys. Okay. That is like this. Okay. So a dot index of start searching for 15th index. Uh, this the words will be searched only after the index 15. That is in this string literal, in this uh, string literal text stored into the variable a will search for this the only after the index 15. That is, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. From 15th index onwards, we'll start searching for the da guys. Okay. And finally, we'll come to this value guys. Okay. This da. So here 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. Okay, we'll get the result as 45, guys. Okay. Result as 45. Okay. Index value of this DA, which is coming after the index 15, is nothing but this DA, guys, which is having the index value as 45. That 45 will be returned here. 
Let's run this and see whether we are getting the same result or not. We'll get the result as 45. So this is how, guys, we have to use index of uh, method of string buffer class in Java. In the next video session, I will explain the other method of string buffer class that is lost index of method. So that's it, guys. See you in the next video session. Thank you. Bye.